All right, we're getting started. Played Elden Ring again. Um, I know I, I did one random ass string, uh, stream of Mario Galaxy. I will return to Mario Galaxy eventually, but uh, for now, uh, we're still playing Elden Ring. Um, but yeah, uh, we, we finished off the last stream um, defeating Godskin Noble. Hey, Ocean Man, how's it going? Just barely defeating Godskin Noble by, like... Uh, we both had the tiniest speck of health <laughs> at the end. Um, actually, I don't know how I got healed up. I think a message got appraised because I I have the same number of um, flasks. I, I intentionally didn't heal. I don't, I don't know what happened. Um, but yeah, let's level up and we're going to go collect that Smithing Stone 7. Fight some bosses, do some fun stuff. You literally can't see my stats at all. Because of <laughs> what stat I'm leveling, that's really funny. Uh, I didn't even notice that at all. We'll just... Oh, there we go. That's actually... Look at how satisfying that is. 40, 20, 20, 20. That, that makes me feel good. And we're still just a jackass. <laughs> with the starting armor. I don't care. And we're gonna take this really weird gross snake thing. Which does lore with an NPC, I guess. Um, oops, I'm sorry. I did, did I mess with your sacred chapel? Yeah, I think that's a thing we can do later. But then, weirdly enough, the way to go now, because this game makes sense, is push this button. I think I, I actually wandered around for a while looking for that the first time, because I'm, I'm a dumbass. Oh, I wanted to mention the music that I used for the stream intro was from Celeste, which is like one of the greatest games I've ever played from the B-Sides. The B-Sides have some of the best music in any video game. Um, I think like, what, what's her name? Uh, Lena Rain or whatever? The um, sh She did like Pig Step for Minecraft. Just super, super good music. It's like incredible video game music. I don't even really know if I'm going the right way. Oh. <laughs> How much of this game have I played and I'm still, uh... Still pressing the jump button, trying to pick up items. Uh, I, yeah, I guess. I guess this is just one big loop that I have now done. <laughs> uh, it, I'm sure it's outside, right? Oh, and I should always send the elevator back down. Um, it's just always the thing to do, because I will inevitably die. Yeah, the path is outside. I want to say there's more of those abductor virgin enemies. I don't think this is anything. I, one of the funniest things that I have ever seen uh, in a message in this game was the first time I saw the, like... Uh, th there's always messages referencing um, Lord of the Rings here. Over the lava and something. Oh, release the Elden Ring. Because th this is a definitely a Mount Doom moment. I always appreciate... The way the community just makes dumbass jokes out of the messaging system. Because it's very limited. You can't type whatever you want. You have <laughs> you have to actually um like conform to their weird little like message system and like plug words in. I don't know. It's the asynchronous multiplayer stuff in these games is really entertaining. And it was a very clever idea. You gotta, I don't know whose idea it was first, but it is a definitely a unique thing. I don't, I'm sure a lot of games do it now, and if they do, they do it because of Dark Souls, I think. But I doubt they were the first. Uh, I think we want to open this door, right? And I know there's an elevator shortcut, so I want to do that. I don't know where it is, though. I feel like it's down from here. Oh, that thing is trying to hit me through the wall. That's cool. <laughs> they actually can hit you through the wall, so... 
want to avoid that. Ooh, you have glowing eyes. Give me the extra runes. How much is it? Eh, 1,500 for one enemy is not bad. Don't mind me. I will just open this door. All for a cookbook. <laughs> the missionary cookbook. Oh, great. <laughs> My favorite. Um, I can't see anything. Uh, uh, let me put that on. Excuse me. Uh, yes. Is there nothing else down here? I was sure there was. All for a cookbook, huh? Truly quite lame. Okay, back up we go. There are a couple ladders that have like weirdly offset spots that you have to stand in to... That's rude. Please don't do that. <laughs> like offset spots that you have to stand in to trigger the ladder. And people put messages at the bottom and everyone complains thinking that it's the message that has caused the thing. But no, it's just the game's janky like placement. I, I like went and checked, killed all the enemies and stuff. No, you can go offline and the messages all disappear. It's still just placed weird. FromSoft, probably my favorite developer and they, God, their games are just a mess. <laughs> Bless this mess though, you know what I mean? Uh, here's the elevator I wanted. You tried to grab me. That was rude. And now I think we're back at the chapel. Yeah, there we go. Nice to have that. Yeah, so there is a skip you can do. You can jump around this pillar here. This one. Uh, I don't think I will ever be that good to uh, achieve that. It's worth trying maybe one time. Like, the only penalty for it is dying, and if you have no souls, then the penalty is just time wasted. Oh, look. There's a spot to drop off on the elevator. <laughs> oh, what? Oops. <laughs> Let's try that again. It's usually easier going down than going up. There's one in, in Bloodborne that I, I think I got on the first... No, I got it on the second try when I streamed it, but um, it's like much easier going one direction than the other, and I can never remember which way it is. Um, weird. Uh, one of these paths you can like meet up with Raya yeah, I think here, if you do some quest stuff, you can meet up with Raya. I probably have to go and talk to her somewhere else and then do some obscure shit to make that happen. Which I might do, actually. Um, maybe we won't kill Rikard for a while so that I can try to do that quest line. I should not be standing in that fire. I was like, I'll just walk it off, it'll be fine. <laughs> Would not have been fine. You look poisonous. Yep, that's because you are. Okay, good to know. Oh, and that's where we just were, right? I think so. I hear a scarab, you. I don't think you have anything that I care about, to be honest. Could be wrong. I'm definitely not going to go and do that now. I am seeking a specific thing, and that is a somber seven. If I can remember how to get there. Actually, go to the boss? Oh, you want me to go there now? Okay, I'm trying to upgrade first. I think I may have missed where the somber seven is. No, I'm gonna- you're gonna see me die to it and feel better about yourself. That boss is strong. Um... Yeah, I, I think I... did not come to the right place, but we'll use some stone sword keys. I'm just gonna level up a little bit, but thank you. Thank you for- for coming. We- we will- we will face the, uh, full-grown falling star beast. God, I just- take a moment to appreciate how sick this looks they they really did make this game i don't think that's a jump that i can make i think you have to do that from up higher 
I'm not even going to try. Oh, I feel like this is death. Ooh, that was actually remarkably close to dying. If you take any damage... Oh, no. If you take any fall damage at all, you're actually very close to death in this game. This is a seedbed curse, isn't it? I can tell. Yep. Okay. <laughs> you're chilling, man. Thank you for just making it in the stream. I don't really want to go back there for 10,000 runes, to be honest. I don't think that's the way to go. I'm trying to think how I do actually get there. Maybe it is? I don't know. It's, it's like there's a courtyard where the abductor virgin is. I can see it from here. It's like over there. Oh, and I forgot to send the elevator back down. I never know what you guys are on about in the chat. <laughs> I'm like trying to think my my little brain as hard as I can. How do I get there? I think it must be. There's no way you can like drop into that courtyard from up here, can you? That would be insane. I don't think so. No, that I would definitely die if I tried that. Advertiser compliant. Okay, well, sure. <laughs> Thank you. I, I guess I appreciate it. I, I One of the first streams I went on a rant about how I will never be advertiser friendly. Which is probably hindsight not the, the best thing to have done. That was kind of a sick jump to make. Did that guy also do it? That wax looks odd. It's kind of funny that this is like the easiest Somber 7 to get. It's like so many of the rest of them you can get without fighting any bosses. And then Somber 7 specifically. And you can get 8 and 9 without fighting a single boss. 7 you have to do some crazy shit to get to though. Maybe it is that way out that door. I love this guy with just the gigantic face. Look at that thing. What is that head? Okay, we're just going to move on. <laughs> no, this is just the path to Rikert, right? That's all this is. And I think if we take that... Then it, like, screws up. Can you, like... There we go. You happy? <laughs> Alright, I can pizza cut you as well. My god. Yeah, I'm tr me trying to understand what you're reading. Like, huh? <laughs> I'm simply too dumb to try to do that and fight enemies at the same time. Oh, oops, sorry. My bad. So, <laughs> so where is it? I guess it must be... It must be this. Well, yeah, I just, like, I was thinking how much I hate advertising just in general. Like, I don't know. I keep seeing ads online on, like, Reddit and stuff that look like text messages between real people. And I know companies have been doing shit like this for a long time. But it, like, it's, like, breaking my brain. I don't know. The, like, quantity of advertising that I see. That was a weird backstab. Why am I doing anything but this? 
Oh, right. I, I only have so much of that I can do because I don't have any blue flasks. I should probably allocate a blue flask, huh? Just one? <laughs> um... It really does not take a whole lot of mind to make that work, though. Oh, another rune arc. Very nice. Jumping required ahead. Thank you. I was unaware. <laughs> oh, yeah. No wonder there are lots of deaths here. This sucks. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is bad. Am I just going to die again? Yep. Like, what do you even do? Okay, so I'm just gonna have to run over there and grab it and then leave. I, I think if I go the other direction, that's how to get to the thing that I want to do, though. Like, go down there and then the other way. Let's try that one more time. <laughs> uh. Did I? I forgot again. I, I said always send the elevator back and then nope. Yeah, so I already have the 8 and 9, I'm pretty sure. Yep. So we're going to get the 7, and then we're going to have nearly... An, we'll have the penultimate. Not the ultimate pizza cutter, but nearly the ultimate pizza cutter. I don't know. I used the Whirly Gig Saw in Bloodborne, and it's just fun. So I was like, why not? <laughs> I've seen lots of people use this in this game, and I've played with so many other things. I was like, ah, I might just do the Moonlight Greatsword again, because that was so much fun. But, excuse you? <laughs> but I'm, I'm doing this. Why not? I might break out the Moonlight Greatsword build. Oh, that guy knows what he's doing. Hell yeah. Riton cosplayer. <laughs> um... I have the Moonlight Greatsword build somewhere, and I might break it out when the DLC comes out, just to mess around. See if I can one-shot any of the new bosses with Kamadajur. Die trying. Okay, don't need to do anything special. I can just... Um, make my way down this time. It's funny, the jumping puzzles in this game... Look like a joke compared to the ones in Dark Souls 1. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. These enemies suck, dude. I hate them. I, re I remember really disliking this room. The first time I came through here. I just need to keep adequate distance. Okay, I should be fine. Yeah, these ones that scream are the real bastards. Oh, am I crouched? I didn't mean to do that. There used to be a way to, like, gain a bunch of stamina back really fast via crouching. I don't know if it works anymore. Oh, that's like a really good Ash of War, I think. But I'm not... I'm not using a weapon that I can put ashes on. Hey, Pot Noodles, how's it going? I am in search of the Somber 7. I I seem to have found a shortcut. This is not where I thought I was <laughs> I was gonna end up. Oh yeah, you you appear sometimes, right? Someone please kill him. <laughs> hmm. Here to put the then please. The one that I left the serpent worthy tarnished. The sure. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're playing Elden Ring. Uh, I, I wish I wasn't nearly as lost, and I, I knew how to get to the thing that I'm trying to do. Um, let's see if your dialogue changes. I might have to do, like, the Volcano Manor quest line to make her quest progress, which would be a little sad. Um... Yeah, it, I don't know how to get to that courtyard here. Um, had a perfect interview. That's nice. 
that always feels good. I've had some of those. Um, I had some really cool stuff happen out of interviews like that. Uh, so I hope it, I hope whatever it is, uh, you get it. <laughs> um, I'm just going to look it up where the thing is, because I'm going to waste too much time. One moment. Uh... Seven in Volcano Manor. Oh, there's an illusory wall I have to go through. Okay. Oh no, I already did that. Wait. Right, duh. I already did the illusory wall. How do I actually get to it? It says you have to defeat the Godskin Noble, so I'm pretty sure I have to go to the church. So let's just do that. The temple. And I'll just wander around. An extracurricular position? Oh, nice. Okay. Um, unless it's in the first half of this area, but I don't think it can be. Like, before this elevator... Oh yeah, and I remembered um, last stream that you can do guard counters with this <laughs> if you're two-handing a weapon. You can still block and do guard counters, and they're really good, actually, because they nerfed uh, the jump heavies. So it's like, I should try to do that more. Okay, yeah, you suck. I hate you. Maybe it's like some path over here. I don't think so. No, I mean, there's an item over here, and of course there's basilisks. It's classic. Oh, and that's a somber six. Well, I've already got one of those, but thank you. Let's not die. If that bar fills up, I am just toasted. Yeah, this is nothing. I guess I can get the scarab that I said I wasn't going to waste my time getting before. <laughs> I love it when it makes the stagger noise on them. And a somber five. I have no stamina with which to pizza cut you. Okay, please don't. Please don't kill me. Seriously, though, please. Oh, yeah, we're fine. <laughs> okay. I just have to go back over where the Virgin is? This is a terrible idea. Wait, do I still have the Bloodhound step? Yeah, okay. This is fine, actually. Just in the door. Oh, okay. That was a grab. Of course. I said I was going to pick up Flame Cleanse Me in Liernia. I should do that today as well. After I finally get this Somber 7, it literally might be faster to try to go and find it somewhere else. Oh, is this it? Is this the way? Oh, hello. I don't think so. It would be funny if it was. But no, I'm just here again. I'm so so bad at navigating. And and who forgot the elevator for like the third or fourth time in a row? That would be me. I don't think I have a single bolus either. Nope, and I don't have the recipe for it. So we're just gonna we're just gonna ride the poison out. <laughs> I have not used the physic flask like a single time this playthrough either, you now realizing I picked up a whole bunch of good um, tears for it, so I should do that. <laughs> Pot noodles, do you happen to remember the path to this like little courtyard with the abductor virgin in it? That has the somber seven? Because I know it's from this grace. I just 
seem to be unable to find it. It's definitely not over there. Okay. Maybe there's like a ledge I have to jump off somewhere. Yeah, this is this. Just again. There's an item on the far side that I haven't got yet. Don't know how to get there, though. Well, I may have already ruined it. That's fine. I did come this way. Dip forever, it's fine. Uh, oh, this... Yeah, I didn't even pick up this item. Dagger talisman, sure. I came this way and I still managed to miss that. Perhaps I am just a lost cause at navigating. Red from the blood being grabbed. Um, okay. I'm just gonna be back here again. Which, at this point, why am I going through all the lengths to go through there when I have the shortcut? One moment, sorry. Okay, it is in the room that I thought it was in. Hang on. I was literally just going the wrong way? Oh yeah, it's in that horrible little room that I lost my souls in. There's just a, a path. <laughs> okay, well, I actually have, like, um, the shortcut there, so it... <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I just need to not get grabbed. And we'll be fine. <laughs> I remember this area giving me a very hard time the first time through, and no surprise, it's, it's granting me the same courtesy on the replay. Oh, goddammit, I didn't manage to get it to not scream. Okay, lure them this way. I think I have another door to open. Nope, it's just here. It's just this. I just didn't see this somehow. I may not be smart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm dicking around. There's a grace right here. We're gonna go upgrade. We're gonna go fight the thing, alright? That's what you're here for. We're gonna go fight the thing. Let's fight the thing. Uh... God, my phone is blowing up. Nothing happens.
and then I start streaming in my phone. I feel like my loading times are better when I'm not streaming, which is no surprise. I'm sure my computer is crying <laughs> every time I click go live, but you know what? Hang in there. <laughs> you got this. It does definitely load better on the PS5, so maybe um maybe I'll I'll do the DLC on there. Um if I want to do anything mod related, I do have to do it um on PC. This is pretty slow though. I think it's not usually this bad. And it's loading like the round table. Oh, that's it's loading this like special thing. Right, Ensha comes in and tries to kill me? No? The lighting's just... Whoa, the textures are just like really low res. What is going on, computer? And it just took a while for the lighting to load in? Okay. <laughs> oh, hello. Um... Uh... Perhaps maybe I should, um... Reload my game. <laughs> that's not what that's supposed to look like. There's supposed to be a guy there that I can talk to. Let's try that again. You good, game? There we- that's- okay, that's much better. <laughs> Alrighty. Game just- just was having a little bit of trouble. Seven, eight, nine. Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> we have a plus nine Giza wheel, and I still can't one hand it. But you know what? I never wanted to, so it's fine. I don't think I've fought this guy yet. I'm going to be way overpowered for him now. Usually you come in here early and just get owned. So this is going to be a little bit revenge. And that's how good the pizza cutter is. <laughs> no, I'm I'm really overleveled. That shouldn't happen. <laughs> like that. The plus nine is insane. I think there's some more stuff to do down here, but who cares? Let's let's go fight the thing. I think the easiest way to get there is literally just teleport to the volcano manor and then just go out the front door. <laughs> Although maybe you can't get to it from this way. Now that I think about it, it it might be like a one-way path. We'll find out here in a second. In which case, I'm going to have to do a whole lot more mountaineering <laughs> to get there. Can I? No. Yeah, I can tell from here. I cannot go the other direction. So, <laughs> that's where it is. It's up on that big spire. We have to get there somehow. Uh, and to do that, I have to to literally do the entire Volcano Manor, which believe it, or the entire Mount Gelmir run, I think. Which means I have to go here. <laughs> it's going to take maybe 10 minutes or so to get there. <laughs> We're going to run around the entire mountain. Yep. Well, wonderful. I, we have the plus nine pizza cutter, after some wandering, <laughs> and um, I guess we could introduce the tibia mariner to it. But I don't think this can be bled. So, still does pretty good damage though, doesn't it? I see you. Pick up this. Yep, useless item. Oh god. Crafting materials, who cares? Oh my god, that's nutty. I, I love just watching a health bar melt in these games. Oh, okay, let's not have it be mine. 
But thank you for killing your own guys. That's very kind of you. But there we go. Yeah, okay. I think there's just a grace over here. But yeah, I want to summon those guys. They're just dumb looking. There's something to be said for summoning just like the shitty old sorcerer guy who sucks just to do it. Uh, I don't even think I have enough souls to level up. I can talk to Melon of it. Who wants to do that? Um, oh, wow. I don't know if I, the perspective was off or what. I suck. There we go. And it's another arrow. It's another Ash of War for a bow. Boo. Literally, like, I would rather get an Arteria Leaf than an Ash of War for a bow. So if you don't know, the bows in this game are... just have really awful scaling. So, like, you can't make it viable to, like, make a build for for a bow because you're going to hit Fire Giant and it's going to like take you 10 hours to kill Fire Giant because you just can't scale well into the late game. You're just lame. It's like a utility tool for killing uh, like smaller enemies. I guess is the way that they want you to think about it. But you can see that bridge from here. I was wondering what I, like what am I looking at? And there's a cave here. That is probably worth doing, but uh, I don't want to get too sidetracked. Maybe I can come back for that later. The, uh, there's so many caves in this game, if you want to do them all. If they ever release Elden Ring 2, I'll do them all on stream. That's that's my promise to you. Um, but for now, we're just going to hit the high notes of Elden Ring until the DLC comes out, and then I'll finish Super Mario Galaxy. I have plans to do other stuff. I found some like nostalgia games from when I was a kid. I found the Wally Wii game. Uh and and various stuff like that that I managed to get running. Now I'm thinking about it, maybe that's the reason Elden Ring is running like shit cuz I've installed all this other random crap on my computer. <laughs> but uh sh that's definitely not why. Mm. -mm. Okay. There's this whole fort here. You can get a pretty cool weapon uh, in here. I think the like prelates great hammer or something. Maybe that's later. No, I feel like that is here though. Um, and then there's another magma worm. Hmm. There's lots of enemy infighting in this game, which is a really good way to make the game feel just more. Uh, what's the word? Um, immersive. There we go. My god, it took my brain quite a while to get that one together. Oh. Got another magworm to fight. Just bonk him in the head. Yeah. I think that's less damage, like chunk wise when I was doing to the other magma worm when I was bonking him in the head kind of funny it's doing good damage to me seems like he's specifically weak to the heavy attacks or the um the jump attacks rather not just the charges, the charge heavies. I should check what talismans I have uh, equipped as well. I'm not realizing. I've been hit by that every time. Yeah, see, Frozen Ender, you said um, I was gonna make you feel bad. Look at that. I'm just I'm missing all over the place. We all suck at this game, is the thing. It's just like, I didn't give up, you know? That is the only thing there is shame in, is, is giving up.
to be fair, when this came out, I had already, like, played all of the other games, and, like, was very much incentivized to like this already anyway. And I bullied you into playing it. That said, you definitely can complete it. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. I wanted to get the cool finish, but that's fine. Not so great enemy felled. We'll let Torrent just take the heat. The fire, is he here? He is here. We get our new uh, hat here, I believe, actually. Ah, good sir. What business might you have in such a place as this? I hardly think you're here to temper yourself with plague, considering that fleshly form of yours. Your timing, though, is in. I've been making just the thing for you. I love Alex. What a good character. I'm sure it'll suit you to a team. Yes, that will suit me. I won't be. Perhaps I'll head it as an old above the lofty cloud. Yes. Yeah. Well, we'll see you later and have to kill you, unfortunately. But. I am now a dumbass with a pizza cutter and a pot on my head. This is exactly how I want it. I, I'm a, I'm a pothead. Uh, this is exactly how I wanted that to go. Okay, yes, we have, we have new clothing acquired, and we will carry on. No reason not to pick up the money, other than it's annoying. Potentially not, like, a lot of money. Some of these have cookbooks in them, though. Hmm. I just, like, hit my teeth together in a way that I did not like at all. <laughs> I think there's some good smithing stone in there if you get the bear to go over. Oh, that bear. Yep, that's the one. People say not to run away from the rune bear, but I don't know. Seems to work just fine. I'm saying that just because it would be a funny clip if it appeared out of nowhere and killed me. Actually, I would like... I, I would like more flasks, thank you. Okay, we're getting closer. I feel like there's a grace or... I've played this game too much. I feel like there's a grace around here. Yeah, there is. It's the Craftsman Shack. You have played this game too much to the point that I know where the graces are, but I still can't remember where I'm trying to go. I would probably remember like a shocking number of the caves too. It's part of the re part of the reason that I'm not playing through all the caves in this playthrough is because I have before like three times, and so I don't know that I could make myself do it again. This is like a cool moment. Cool little fight, but it's quite hard if you actually do it. You can kind of just run past. Which I think is exactly what I will do. Let's level up. Ooh, I don't want to mess up my beautiful 40, 20, 20, 20. 15 intelligence? No, I think I actually do want to have more faith eventually. So that I can use, um, Flame Cleanse Me. I think I need, like, at least eight or ten or something of that. Oh god, that probably still picked up on the mic. <laughs> well, what are Twitch streamers known for if not burping into microphones? Can I just backstab you? Okay, sure. We'll, we'll keep moving. Sorry, man. I mean, everybody does it. You can call me nasty. As if you don't. But you'd be lying if you claimed that you didn't. There's a hero's grave here. I don't think I want to be bothered to even activate the grace. There's another one right at the other side of the road. You don't burp. You've never burped in your life. Okay, well... Congratulations, I guess. I, I don't believe you. I lived with you, so I should have, like, categoric evidence that that's not true, but... 
There may have just been an easier way for me to get here, but I don't think so. We're getting quite close. That spire over there is where we want to go. Or maybe... Yeah, I, I don't know. It's near here. There's like ladders and shit. Oh god, there's a... Is that a fucking revenant? Oh, it's a grafted scion. That's not nearly as scary. Actually, I'm... You know what? Let's fight a grafted scion. I don't mind. Okay, it's slightly buff. Slightly scary. Let's cut the meatball. Oh. Get cut by the meatball. You never want to get cut by your meatballs. That's... Generally, things are going poorly. If that's transpiring. What am I saying? I don't know, but the, word, the words are flowing. <laughs> I love just watching logs get tossed around like toy bricks. One of the things that they haven't really figured out in video games yet is making physics simulations that actually like have weight to them. So that they, it actually like feels, you know... You never stagger, huh? Well, okay. Bye-bye, Grafted Scion. Oh, thank you. It's very kind of you to give me... Oh, why did I get back on Torrent? Give me all of those flasks back. I think there's just a bunch more laddering, and then there is a spirit spring. Somewhere. I love that you can see, um... The consecrated snowfield from here. That's actually that... So yeah, you, you never went there yet, Frozen Ender, but you see those ice spikes? You can actually go to that place where those are. Isn't that sick? And you can just see it from here. Like, that's a place you go later. And it's hard as hell. Uh, it's optional content, actually. Technically, I think. Um, but yeah. I think there's even, like, a cave up here somewhere that I could do. It's like one of the weird teleport caves up on this mountain, I think. Oh, right. I took the, like, set of two elevators instead. Or elevators. These are not elevators. Oh, hello, Marionette. You... I hope you can't climb ladders. Oh, shit. Well, it's fine. You're far enough below me. You'll get there, man. Me pretending that I have any clue what you're talking about? <laughs> oh god, okay. Not good. Okay, that's a lot of marionettes chasing me. Is there another ladder over here? No. But there's... It's a merchant. Please tell me they won't follow me. Welcome. Value, please. I'm right, this is the guy who's like, please feed me. I'll buy a stone sword key. And that kind of looks cool. Let's see if I, I can wear it. Oh god, they have chased me. I, I was going to turn around and look. Sometimes they get stuck on the terrain, which I think happened to all of the non-flying ones. Okay, let's, um... Let's see. Can I equip this? I'm still medium load. Oh, that looks sick. I'm the, the pizza confessor. Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> and now I'm actually wearing a shirt, too, which I, I think might help me take less damage, perhaps. Um, I think Dark Souls 3 is the one that you actually, like, if you don't have armor, it, like, hurts you pretty bad. What is that map? I You can't open the map when you're on a ladder? Or am I still, like, in combat? I think you literally can't open the map when you're on the ladder. That's really weird. I would never have guessed that that's a thing. Right? Because as soon as I... Yeah! Okay, why did I want to look at the map? I wanted to see what my... Oh yeah, that's a church I'm going to go to later. Steal some tears from it. 
Okay. I think, yeah, I think this is just the way I want to go. If I went the other way there, there's a whole bunch of other stuff to do. It's like a cave and stuff. Um, but here we are. This is, I, I take it this is where you were with a super long snake eater ladder. And the terrible evil enemy. Let's see what we can do. I am guessing I have a stronger weapon than you had. But this guy is also kind of just an ass. Yeah, look how little dam damage I do. I think you can hit it in the face and do more damage. Not exactly an easy prospect, though. Especially just because of how big it is. God, I don't have much health. This is the one, yeah. This is an optional boss, by the way. So yeah, I hit it in the head. I did 600 damage. Like, you can even get to Volcano Manor other ways. Obviously, as that was what I did. There's lore relate how this boss relates to another boss called Estelle, which if you haven't heard of Estelle, literally, I need you to just play the game and see Estelle before I do it on stream because that is one of the coolest looking bosses in any game. Not exactly the most fun boss fight, but a very cool looking boss. Oh, I have made an unwise choice. Yep. <laughs> We're fine. Okay. Lucky roll. Yeah, I guess this is like a slightly less... Hmm, that's a hard one to dodge. It's always a little faster than I think it's going to be. As opposed to a little slower than I think it's going to be, which is most moves in this game. Uh-oh. I'm fine. Oh, that's bad. Oh, I think the terrain just saved me. Like, I was just beneath the boss. Oh, God. I hate this move. That looked totally jank because of the terrain. Oh, that was greedy. That was really greedy. Why did I feel the need to be that greedy? I don't know. This guy's hard. There's actually, there's another one of these in the, um, in the cave that you get teleported to, like, in, you get teleported there in Limgrave. It's like the Caleb Cave. Yeah, well, my advice for this one is bonk him in the head. Other than that, um, I mean, you can use Torrent, which is good sometimes, but dodge into this charge move, like, a, like I just did there. And yeah jump heavy in the face tends to be good. I don't know how to consistently dodge. The other one is weaker, I think, yeah. There's like a few of them around. I think there's only two full-grown ones, though. But, I mean, my perspective is a little warped because I remember fighting that one like super early. My first playthrough, because you get teleported to that cave really early, and I want to say I beat it eventually, but I was doing like no damage. I did the like stubborn Souls player thing of just like, I could get stronger and go and like fight this later, but I don't wanna. Yeah, that move is kind of a crapshoot. Like sometimes I think I've dodged it right and I just haven't. 
Okay. Dodge in. Yep. I got a diagonal. Okay. He's turning a little tighter than I expected him to, but... Let's give you another good bonk in the face. You can actually get the claw as a weapon, which is, like, super sick. I think you just get the weapon from defeating the boss. Actually. Oh my god. I got grabbed. Yeah, and the mandibles in the eye are a big part of the reason that people say it, Estelle is like a more grown version of this. I mean, there's a lot of other reasons too, but that's like the, the main ones. Lock him in the butt. Oh, no. I'll have to face. Yeah, this guy's tough. This is no... It's honestly, like, tuned a little... Tuned a little stronger than I remember it being, to be, to be frank with you. Uh, so don't feel bad. You could literally never fight this, though, and finish the game if you wanted to. This is completely optional. Um... But it is fun to come back and give it the smackdown after you've done everything else. As well. That's... I can't remember what I did that with in this game, but something was giving me just like a ton of trouble. There was like a duo boss that I was way weak for. Like I want to say the Clean Rat Knight duo or whatever, which is really not hard if you can just kill one of them quickly. It might take me more than five times to defeat this today, but I'll do it. Like, I will kill this boss this sitting. I've done it before. I know I can. Oh, I should get that uh, 12k souls, huh? Not a bad idea to keep that. Yeah, so you can run, like, ride Torrent and... I mean, you can fight this whole boss on Torrent if you want. It's really hard if you do it that way. I wouldn't advise it. Yeah, sometimes running just works. Others it doesn't. Sometimes it just does the big one on the second time. Cool. I didn't remember that ever having happened. Okay, now that I know that that's a little faster... Still not sure why it hit me, because I did roll through it. I don't think trying the pizza cutter... Like, special pizza cutter move is going to help on this either. I would love to stagger it again. God damn. Kinda getting owned this time. <laughs> By just like every move. Yeah, that's also like the same move that Estelle has. He has literally that move. Gravity bros, huh? Gordon Freeman. I don't know. I haven't. That just should have hit me. What the? You started that thing and then didn't finish it? I thought I rolled through that. We're okay. Game feels differently. That move is brutal. See? I, I told you. It is, in fact, not easy. Yeah, so after I fight this, I guess we'll go do the dragon uh, tree sentinel. And run through the city. Oh my god. You killed Torrent. Actually, I don't think 
Torrent got killed, but I did get knocked off Torrent. Oh, the back leg has a hitbox too, my bad. Okay. focus here. I wish I could lock onto its head specifically. I don't seem to be able to. And that's kind of lame. Feel a little better. I'm glad. It's strong. It's like really strong. I'm not even sure why they made it this strong, but they did. actually get the head hit. There we go. Okay. That was the most panic rolls. <laughs> I did like six rolls in a row. Just missing the head. I mean, it's okay, like, I'm still getting some damage in, but. Oh, that sucks you in now in phase two. Okay. Sure. I knew I knew the timing, I just had to, like, remember it. I need to just not throw this time. I've got this now. Fuck. Ah! What do you do? What do you do? <laughs> it's fucking terrifying. What? How many do you do? Don't throw. Just don't throw. Greed. We've done it. <laughs> okay. That is that is a tough some bitch, man. And the rewards are a, a little lackluster. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Um. Oh, and I did remember I actually keep the souls. Thank God. Yeah, you really don't get that many runes um, for it. And there are other ways into Volcano Manor. But I will say, the one reason to fight this boss is because the weapon you get uh, off of it is really sick. Where is where's the like path? So somewhere from here. You actually can literally go this way without killing the boss, too. Like, you don't get locked in this boss room with a fog wall. I'm pretty sure you can just run over here and go this way. So it's like, it's optional in many ways. <laughs> now that I think about it, I should have tried. But yeah, and we're just here now. Um, which, again, just like one of the coolest looking places in any game in general. Just incredible design. I always try to do the thing where I jump off uh, across the line there, but I just messed it up. 
We never found patches this time. I, I never went and freed him from his cave. Uh, honestly, which is fine. <laughs> Who needs patches? Um, I don't know what to level up. I guess we'll just keep pumping vigor. I want to have 50 eventually, so... Um, yeah, and the next thing I want to do is this. So, um, I guess we can go here. That's not a bad way to get there. Uh, or here, honestly. Yeah, let's, let's go from outer wall facing tree or whatever. Outer wall tree hill facing whatever. <laughs> uh, words. Outer wall phantom tree. Yeah, I, I, when I said facing tree, I was like, that was definitely wrong. Oh, and there's like a black flame kindred guy that appears from the sky here, right? To jump scare you. Right about now. Yep. He lands like right in your face if you let him. Oh, you're not the black flame kind. Are you like super tough? How much health do you have? You don't hit for that much. Oh no, you're not that bad. There are versions of this enemy that are way worse that we will see soon. There's the one in the mountaintops is real nasty. And there's a duo, which is everyone's favorite. Oh, that was sick. Yeah, get there. Lame. Hit away. There we go. Okay, I'll take your axe. <laughs> and off we go. I think there's more, yeah, I was gonna say, I think there's more gold seeds, like, right here. And there's the weird, like, little Margit fight, right? Let me trigger it, because, like, I, I just ran past it the first time. I think it's, like, right here. If you go on this road. Yeah. So we just get to fight Margit again. Because of reasons, I guess. I think you get a pretty decent um, thing for killing this. That was awful. I should try to guard counter him. I feel like that would be good. Oh, I, I just pressed the wrong button. Try that one more time. It is good. Oh, don't get my stance broken, though. That was buffered from so long ago, that attack. Oh, my God. Pizza cut him. Okay, that was perhaps misguided. Not the combo. Combo scares me. That's Margit. <laughs> Margit 2. For some reason, and we get this cool medallion. Let's see what, um... What stuff do I have equipped? I guess that's a contender to be put on. wear that for now. I didn't even realize I have the Blessed Dew Talisman on. It's like doing nothing for me. Um, but I'll leave it on for now. I'm sure I'll get something better eventually. I should get the Alexander Shard uh, once I go 
over and kill him, unfortunately. We do have to kill Alex eventually. Very sad. I mean, it is the Dark Souls way. Oh, I didn't think I would have enough gold seeds. Okay, let's also... I feel like I don't need more than 10. Get some blue flasks. That should be nice. And there's a torch you can buy from... Uh, from this merchant that really helps with um, something later on. So I wish Frozen Ender was here so that I could tell him to do that. Um, because if he was in a position to be fighting that, then he could go other places and do other stuff. He could go do the stuff that I'm going to do now, actually. Maybe I'll do some Hero's Graves today. That could be fun. I'm only an hour into the stream. I feel like I kind of want to go for a little longer today. I might take a break to eat a snack. I had some really nice uh, dumplings that I fried up, um, and they were incredible. Torch. Oh, I really didn't think that you guys were going to chase me all the way over here. Okay, good thing you're not terribly healthy. It was weirdly satisfying to use that against the little corpse on the ground. I don't know why. Um... Where is it? The torch. That's the one. Sentry's torch. It's just this obscure little thing that's just hidden away in this menu, but it is genuinely very useful because it makes invisible fucks not invisible anymore. Who would have thought? Uh, there's just a torch that does that. Um, oh, I'm just shy, huh? Well, I guess I could use some of the souls that I have stored. How many? Yeah, I think that's definitely enough. I could pop all of those, um, I guess. And they're kind of... They lose value over time, so maybe... If I am gonna go fight the Dragon Tree Sentinel, maybe it is a good idea... To use all the stuff that I currently have. So let's... If you, um, close the right side of the menu by pushing in the right stick, you can actually... Have it not close the menu when you activate these. It makes it way faster to do a whole bunch of them at once. It's the only game that lets you do that. None of the other FromSoft games, you get to do that. But this one, and they don't tell you that, by the way. Somebody just figured it out. I didn't know this for the first, like, eight months that I had played this game. Uh, let's see how many levels that is. Oh my god, it's going to be, like, one level. Literally, it's one. Well, I'm proud of myself for doing all that. Uh, okay. There's like a death right bird around here. Maybe we do the bell bearing hunter. We're in town. Why not? That should get us the rest of the level. So if you happen to be at this grace, you can uh, pass time until nightfall. Say hi to the creepy ass moon on the map, which is getting hidden by my goal bar. But then I think if I rest one more time, the merchant will disappear. Yep. And then you you may happen to come here when it's night anyway and be like, what? Where's my merchant? And then it's this asshole instead. But you can kind of bait him into shield slamming over and over. If I remember correctly. Oh god. He's just hard though. The one in Kaled, there's one in, in the Dragon Barrow that's just, like, truly one of the hardest enemies in the game. Um, and I think there's a decently easy one of these in Limgrave somewhere. Or maybe Liurnia. Ooh, the grass took a second to load in there. But the, the one downside of doing this... Oops. Every time you um, want to fight it, you have to pass the time over and over again. That becomes a little lame. Oh, and then I have to rest again. I have to rest again. You pass time, and then you have to rest another time. Which I guess I thought earlier in the streams that they had patched that, because I noticed it didn't happen the one time, but... No, they definitely have not. Let's try something goofy. Okay, 
I gotta, I mean, I gotta bleed off on that. Do a safety sip. Is actually quite scary if it lands. Oh my god! I was not expecting that. That like jump scared me. <laughs> I know he has that move, but goddamn. The funniest thing about this is um, the place that you find this actual enemy. He's called like Elmer of the Briar or whatever. Um, and the real version of him is weaker than all of the bell bearing hunters that you can encounter which is just confusing like i don't know why but it, it because of the way that it is i guess get up rest again because of reasons okay i really did like getting that bleed he just kind of stands there and takes it Oh, yep, that was bad. I guess that's not as bad as I remember it being. Okay. I think I can just strafe you for this. That was really greedy. Fence stopped me there. I don't know why when you run it doesn't break fences. I always forget that combo, it just keeps going. I'll bonk you. I wanted you to do the double. Okay, I will be a weenie and just keep healing. Oh my god, he's so strong. Do you stagger ever, bud? Okay. Very close. There we go. What was that? Three tries? That sounds about right. Alright, let's... Snag another level, and then keep going. We're gonna go fight that dragon. Um, and I'm nearing the point where I'm wondering if it's a good idea to activate Radon's Great Rune, but I haven't. Um, yeah, I, I I was gonna say equip Radon's Great Rune, and then and then I was gonna say I haven't activated it yet, and then I just I mixed it all up. But yeah. Uh, there's like a level range where Godric's Great Rune is goaded, and then there's a level range where Radon's Great Rune is like ever so slightly better, and then there, there's late game, which is when I usually just... Does one of you have glowing eyes? No. Late game, I usually just use Morgoth's Great Rune, because it's just more health, more good. Oh, I just didn't get that item, but it's fine. Not that impactful. Oh, nearly got me. I don't want to have to use any flasks. Those guys eventually just forget about you if you go far enough this way. Which is good, because we have a date. Our date is with this man. I struggled with this boss for a while the first time. Actually, my first kill of this boss is, is technically on YouTube. I Terra Magic at him. But after only after struggling for a while. Terra Magica and then um what do you call it? The Comet Azure, that's the one. How many fireballs are you gonna do in a row? 
Oh, I'm glad I did that. Come on, connect. It like wasn't connecting. I, I can't see. <laughs> Literally what was happening. Okay, well. <laughs> sure. I would have been surprised if I did that on the first try. This guy's kind of bullshit, to be honest. Specifically when he calls down lightning from the sky, that is when it, uh, I consider it to be extreme bullshit. Which only happens in phase two. I really think that was worth doing. flattened <laughs> it's so funny shit that would like totally like instantly kill anything in real life is just like yeah I'll walk it off I'll just drink like a potion and be chill I guess that's just true for all video games though huh I should remember that he does that twice after getting hit by it that many times wow owning me this time One, two, no, oh, that one was really delayed. Right, and you can read my inputs, too. That's also a thing. Okay. This is going horribly. Right. Happens twice. Okay, drink. Bonk. Can I get a bleed proc? That would be very cool. Oh, yeah, I shouldn't have jumped to try to bonk again. That was pretty close. That was pretty close. I can. This is not the hardest fight. Wait, I just noticed a little. Um, a little icon on my screen. What is the little pot up icon? Do I actually have like, does the pot that I'm wearing on my head have some kind of buff? Oops. Boosts the power of throwing pot items. I didn't know that. Well, that's not why I'm wearing it. I'm wearing it because it's a pot. <laughs> so, thanks game. I'm glad we have our priorities uh, on the same page. Me in the game. That's just a bad idea, just regen stamina. Yeah. Bonk. Bonk. No. Oh, bad idea, Bonk. You can get this guy's weapon too, it looks cool. Shit. This is going okay. Yeah, that's the move that I hate. too far away, because that's when he starts to call the lightning down from the sky. Right. The two always gets me. Oh, what the fuck was that? That was lingering. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have dodged in. It's usually the play in this game is dodge in. The horse just comes and looks at you. Sentinel. I know you can parry him and do various other goofy things. There's ways you can just make him fall to his death as well, which is funny. If you can pull that off, more power to you. Yeah, 
a game. Yeah, see, it almost never makes sense to do a, um, an R1. Because my jump R2 literally, like, takes the same amount of time. Okay, I got red hard on that one. Fireball? No. See, because I the only exception is because I can get two hits in sometimes. The jump light attack is like literally never never worth doing though. Another? No, that hit me. Okay. Sometimes the play is just back up. Jesus. Okay, I have no idea how that didn't kill me, but it didn't. Shit. <laughs> Saw my life flash before my eyes. Hit. Oh, you chose a bad time to do that, bud. All right, DTS down. Very nice. I wonder if that shield was any good. It looks sick. It does look very cool. Um, but yeah, now we have Landell to explore. There's lots of things to do in Landell. I could go to the sewers. I don't really want to. Um, I feel like there's more Ronnie questline stuff to do. I could do Nokron. Uh, we're at level 69. Very nice. I think we'll just do some Landell uh, for now. Um, but yeah, I'm having a good time streaming today. I feel like it's it's going all right. <laughs> After I managed to find the somber seven, that is, that is the one elevator. Like, who cares? Sending it back down. There's just another grace, like right up here. So pointless. God. And then you really get like an idea of the scope of the tree. The first time you see it, you're like, holy shit, that thing is fucking huge. Um, yeah, I couldn't believe that you could see the moon through the Yurd tree, though. That kind of blew my mind as well. I know there are many shortcuts and things in Landell, too. Um, you know what? I actually, I do kind of want to take a quick break uh, to use the bathroom. So that I will. Let's, uh, let's do that. Let's just not use the intermission music because the game sound is fine. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Let's get back to it. Um, <laughs> that's a new one. My view count went from two to four when I was having a snack and, and a break. Um, <laughs> it was pretty funny. But yeah, just look at this. First time I saw this, I... Like, how can any other game like, stand up to this? It's just insane, the scope of what they created here. <laughs> These guys are called envoys. I don't know, they're just funny. They're funny little guys. That are actually quite deadly if you let them bubble you to death. Um, I feel like there's an item back here. I don't need to be scouring all of Landell. This guy sucks. Yeah, I remember you. There are a few of them around Landell, and they're quite strong. Let's run past more of the envoys. I think um, this gargoyle guy up here got featured in the donkey video. This is one of the prettiest little zones in the game, by the way. They took so much care to place all these vines and stuff. And it's just one little tiny room that you run through in this big giant city area. Just incredible. Yeah, Donkey mentioned how goofy it is that um, there's a Crucible Knight like over on the other side of a shortcut that we'll activate later that you get like only barely more souls for it than you get for this enemy that literally can't turn around to hit you from behind it. You guys came inside? I was not expecting that. Hmm. Oh, bubbles. Oh, the bubbles. It's a Finding Nemo reference. No. I... That's <laughs> fucking dumb. I think you can just go straight to street level if you send the elevator back up, too. If you want. Although, I think there's something up this ladder that I might want. You seem to remember there's... Yeah, there's a really easy-to-miss chest. Okay, it's just perfume bottles, but... I think there's, like, a key item up here. Is it just another seedbed curse? Yeah. I remembered having to come up here for something, but I couldn't remember what, and that was it. So I did the Dung Eater ending at one point, and yeah, there is literally just Dung Eater. It's just a guy. Kind of a shitty guy, obviously. Um. But yeah, I did his, uh, his ending. And you have to go and collect all of those. And feed them to him, which is kind of weird and brutal, but, you know, such is Elden Ring. Okay, I want to say I'm actually really close to a grace right here. I just don't know where. It's like right past this uh, tree. Yeah. So if I actually want to progress through Landell, the way to go is up on the dragon. Um. Oh god, I was gonna say maybe I fight the thing, but. Oh, that was dumb. Two. Three. Oh, you suck. I even thought I dodged. The booty bump, I don't mind. Nice. These guys are like super weak to fire. Yeah, fighting the big tree. Getting schmacked. This is a really cool area though. I was saying, um... When you were gone, oh god, it's gonna be hard to dodge these. That instead of doing what you were doing, you could just come here and do this instead. You actually missed an entire boss. 
um, that I died to a couple times. But you spawn right next to him. Part of the reason that, um... Oh yeah, that was totally worth doing. I just tried to summon Torrent. You can't do that in this city. Um... Yeah, a lot of the bosses, like, you have to run for quite a while to get back, but... Tree Sentinel lets you spawn right next to it. Which is a, a nice uh, thing that they did in this game with the Stakes of Mariko. Um, yeah, this little area can be actually quite nasty. These enemies are... Well, they hit quite hard. But the way to go is up the dragon, believe it or not. Climb the dragon. Which is just so sick. It's just all of this... The way they designed this. Like, I just wanted to do this to see if I could. Right? Which is, I feel like they set it up like that on purpose. To make you, like, want to do it. Just to see if you can. Because in video games, you always want to... I mean, there's something that you're like... Oh my god, there's that huge, like, dragon corpse. Can I, like, climb on that? And inevitably, no. Like, you never can, right? And, and I always want to. And they, like, set up the thing to tantalize you, and then you want to go and try it, and then you actually can do the thing? And, I don't know. That's just... That's something that you can't... I, I like, can't put my finger on that. That's There's, like, game design special something there. I may try to go back and do more game dev stuff someday. Like, on just a personal level. I did, um have like personal game dev projects that I was working on and I, I worked with a small team for a little bit of amateurs <laughs> to uh, just sort of try um, to get some projects together and we never finished anything but I was quite happy with my work I made like a map for a train game and a couple other things um, but it's kind of I haven't done stuff like that in a while so I, I may consider more just like goofy indie game dev stuff. I know you can stream game dev on Twitch now, which is something that was new in the last year. Um, which is cool. I'm, I'm glad that that's a category that's available. My hey, Melina. Thanks for bringing me to the base of the Erd Tree. Yeah, here we are, here, huh? I can govern my own movement, and thus, the accord is fulfilled. I shall depart. Oh yeah, I paid my car off, dude. The, the accord is fulfilled. Farewell. I shall leave Torrent. I wish you luck. You have fought. I have no doubt. Sure. Thanks, Melina. <laughs> um. Let's see. Uh, what? I want to see. Yeah, I need eight more. Eight K more. Runes. <laughs> I want to say there's like a gold seed right here, and we can fight this guy if we want. I just grind your, like, ankle. Oh. Yeah, that's who I wanted to lock onto. You figured it out, game. Congrats. What a wonky move. Like, all that, and it almost always misses. Uh-oh. My envoys! You killed them! Stop walking on! Oh, right in the face. You see that? Oh, just quit killing my friends. Hey! Oh shit, that's that move! I always think that's another move and roll early, and you're just fucked if you do that. Yeah, I think it's that move, which is like so much easier to dodge. Oh, what? Dumbass. Just roll in. It always works. Except for when it doesn't. And then you just... I don't know what I'm saying. Fight the fight the enemy. God, I don't want to do the duo of these guys. That sword literally went directly through my body, and I'm not sure how it didn't hit me. You're dead, though. 
in case you were wondering. That should be enough runes to level up. It's not. Actually, I need 3,000 more. I don't think any of the... Oh, well, this will definitely be worth 3k. Uh, yeah, wait. Well, we may as well level up one more time, because there's another boss coming up. Uh, right here. I guess I could go get some more Sacred Tears and upgrade the flask a little bit more. There's definitely some that I missed in Kaelid, huh? But, um... Yeah, our heals are not great right now. That makes me think it might be a good idea to go do that. But let's see how we fare against Gold Free. I don't remember this boss being terrible. This is the way to go, right? Yeah. Just the, the game design for these levels is so different. The game, the, I guess you could just say level design. The level design is very different from what many other games would do. The main path is like super weird sometimes, like this, like just go run on roots for a while. Because of uh, just do it. <laughs> it's because I said so. Just go. It's like, okay, Dad. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's actually really cool. Thank you. Um, Gold free time. I happen to know this lad cannot be bled. But that's fine. We don't need bleed. Where we're going... We don't need bleed. Oh, good. Uh, okay. I didn't think I was hitting him enough to do that, but I guess I, I have been going pretty aggro. I guess the reason that I always think this uh, version of Godfrey is not so bad. It's just because you fight him later, and it's much harder. Okay, let's not get owned now. I think you can just get range on this one and, like, range him out, and then he just does that over and over. That should be it. Yeah, okay. There, there you go, Goldfrey. Thank you. That was a scuffed fight, but perfectly fine. We get 80k runes for that. Sure. <laughs> um. Yeah, just going towards 50. Making moves. I guess I could go fight uh, Margit again, who is the next boss. I am now deeply into, like, spoiler territory. Like, 20k from that monster, yeah. How much do I need? I need, like... Just a little more. Let's use one of those. We'll get 50 vigor and we'll go fight the next boss. What? I'm t like 500 short. Okay, I can't count. Um. I'm trying to think about what else I want to do. It would be a good idea to go and get some more flask upgrades, actually, so... Fight Margit first. Morgot, whatever. Same guy, different name. He just likes to mix it up, I guess. <laughs> this is a really weird thing. <laughs> the, like, little bed suspended from the ceiling. You... It's quite hard to see, but it is literally just suspended from the middle of the ceiling up there. What a weird thing. Oh, and am I, am I going to get stabbed? Yeah, there's a black knife here. Don't think I don't know you exist. I wanted that to work a little better. I mean, it did half its health. What am I talking about? No grabs for you. 
I'll do that move over and over again. Okay, I have no idea how none of that hit me. Well, one of it did, but... Sure. Just another incredibly cinematic looking room. I remember seeing this in a cutscene and I was like, yeah, that's gonna be a room we're gonna go in after a boss fight, and I was right. Look all charred. I actually really like the confessor robe with the pot. This is kind of a sick look that we've got going now. But yeah, here we are at the base of the tree. Isn't this just... Oh, the imagery. I, I love it. Uh, like it does make me think you couldn't make the bog wall go all the way up to the top of the archway, though. Maybe they intentionally didn't so that you could see their like cool insignia on the big door. I don't know. Let's do it. Let's go fight. Graceless, tarnished. Actually, I think I, I touched a lot of graces. Morgat, I don't know if you're aware. What is that <laughs> business with these thrones? His feet are so big. He's got to have some weird thing for feet, right? There's a weird, like, foot-related thing in all of these games. And it's like, you got to imagine all the rest of the employees are like, are you sure you want to tarnish this, like, really cool thing that we made by, like, putting foot fetish shit in it? And then he's like, yes, I do, I do want to do that. Actually, yeah. But this is so sick. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. <laughs> so cool. Grave. He turns his staff into a sword. Felt Just I King Morgoth. Last of all kings. Sing. Let's see how this goes. Fought this boss so many times. Throughout my playthroughs. I mean, he's like... I heard more guys. It's really hard on like low level runs. Which I'm not really surprised. Shit, I took a lot of damage there. Just keep sipping. Shit. so early. Oh my god. How am I alive? When does the combo end? One flask in a dream. Oh, I'm, I went right into the swords. What am I doing? One flask and a dumbass. <laughs> Okay, let's give that like a real try. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> He's tough. Tough son of a bitch. All right, Morgat. You and me. Big fat tree. Sell this. And then I will take his rune and I will use it to get very much health. 
so that I may be whacked a lot by the next big thing. Uh, why did I just almost try to summon Torrent? What am I doing? Bad idea. I got 800 damage out of it. And what did it cost me? Only half my health bar. Yeah, I, I need better flasks. For sure. I thought I rolled. Okay. God. Going a little better than the last time. Not by much, though. Thought I staggered him the first time. But no, this is just phase two. Yes, get that bleed! Take a safety sip. scuffed. I just need to hit him like one more time though. That's so delayed. There we go. Morgoth the Omen King. There we go. He's done. 120k runes. Oh, right, we're supposed to go up to the thorns, right? Oh, I have one, two, three, five, oh, six. That's slightly unfortunate in ordering there. So you have to walk up to it so that you can see that it says you can't come in, and then the grace will spawn. I remember I was pretty confused the first time, like, hmm, what is. what is going on? But, yeah, that's, I mean, that's all of Landell. We could just go to the mountaintops now. Hello again. Allow me a moment. You are unable I mean, I could probably finish the game this stream if I really wanted to, but that would be insane. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I get it. We have to burn the thorns. I know. Give me the rolled medallion. Yes, please do. Let's get some... Two strength and one dex, why not? Oh, and I have nearly enough for another level, too. I just need like 1100. This gives me 12, yeah. Like, brain dead? Why did I think that I, ha I nearly had enough for... Okay, I don't know how I got those numbers confused, but I surely did. That's fine. Um... See, so yeah, there's a church here... ...that upgrades the flask. I think this church upgrades the flask? Actually, I don't know why I never did that. Are there any others in this zone? Flask upgrades. I know there are a bunch over here. I don't think I did this. I know there's a church up here, too. And then maybe this? It's the Dragon Communion Church? I don't know if that one actually gives you a thing, though. So that gives us a lot of stuff to do. So let's uh, approach these. 
first. Let's see. I feel like this is a good place to start. Going for number one. I definitely should have done this in a more like as a piecemeal as I go kind of a way, but coming back for the sacred tears is not the end of the world. I think I'm just going to incidentally find enough gold seeds between now and the end of the game. I don't think I'm going to have to seek them out, really. That was kind of dumb. It's a sanguine noble, which is fine. Give me the sacred tear. Don't know why I didn't come and get it earlier. Very good. Okay. I think I, there was another church that I, I was in around here that I thought was this one or something. I don't know. But that's done. Now, I think to get to this one, the fastest way is actually like this grace. Which is kind of lame. Um, There is a hero's grave over there, which I could do as well, I guess. Um... Yeah, so this will be flasks plus eight. I think it goes up to 12. After you get all of them in the mountaintops and stuff. Oh, what am I doing? I'm going to die of fall damage if I do some dumb shit like that. There's got to be more that I'm missing in this area. I feel like I did go and get them from the... Weeping Peninsula, right? So I feel like that's easy to forget. Maybe I didn't... Oh, I. you know what? I bet there's, like, churches in Liarnia I didn't go to. That's for sure it. Like, I don't think we went to the, the big Turtle Pope church, so we could do that. Um... Keep moving. <laughs> yeah, there's that hero's grave. Um, but I'm definitely more interested in the church for now. You can get the lightning ram ash of war from somewhere around here. Uh, which is pretty funny. I want to say it's this thing up here, yeah. I'll grab it. Why not? Lightning Ram. Very funny. Hey! I was gonna leave you, but you bonked me. It's very rude. Yeah, I... I really did think that these just regen over time, but they do not. They definitely don't. Stormcaller Church, huh? And we do actually get to rematch with a dragon that I don't think I fought in the first place. You guys were trying to ambush me, huh? You were not very good at it, unfortunately. But yeah, we could go fight the big dragon. I guess let's do that. Lancey Axe or whatever? It always makes my mouth feel weird trying to say that. CX, Lance CX. That's how it's spelled. L A N N S S E A X or some stupid shit like that. Where is it? Where's the big fucker? I feel like it's up on this hill. Right? Do I have to actually fight it in the original location for it to appear here? No. Cool. You bonk your face. God, this is such a sick fight. Yeah, 
see what's going on, and I don't care. That does real good damage if you can hit him in the head. My god, it's hard though. Uh oh. As soon as I saw all of him disappear from my screen, I was like, this is bad. Uh oh. Can't see anything. Where's he? Okay, that worked out just fine. Nope, missed. Okay. Are they gonna hit me? Looks like no. What a sick move! God, that was cool. Just keep bonking him in the face. Oh my god. Ah. Shit, don't die, don't die, don't die. That was unnecessarily close. If you're wondering why I level Vigor, that's the reason. That's it. Right there. Is there a ram trying to get me? Yep, there was. Oh shit. Please don't die. Okay, that's all the flasks, just bonk him. I did it. Okay. And there we go. So I think if you do the encounter properly, right? Like if you fight his first half, he only has half health here. This time. So that's part of the reason he was so tanky. But I do good damage anyway. So all of it is fine. I did get the sacred tear from there, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I guess... I can activate this grace. We don't have to truly fight it yet. What of you? Not nearly as well as it did against the last one. I think this has more health than the one inside Landell, which is pretty funny. Oh, I have zero flasks. What am I doing? Fighting this. Okay. I just have to not lose now. Somehow. Please. Shit. Oh, okay. That was really close. <laughs> I I feel like I would have had a run for a while to get back here. Wow, I got like a decent amount of souls for that too. Oh, I guess a lot of that was from the dragon. I don't remember which hero's grave this is, is the thing. Some of them are really gnarly. Um, I can't remember if this is one of them that is. And it, it tricks you into thinking that you can't teleport out, but you just have to ride the elevator back up and then you're fine. Sure, let's do that. Yeah, so I'll, I'll be able to teleport back here at least. Let's see, where's the button? Yeah, I haven't done that yet. So, perhaps at a later date. But let's go to Kaled. That seems like fun. To me. Um, 
I don't think this church has anything of value in it. I think we can get down here quite easily from up top, actually. So let's try that. There's also... we could activate Radon's Great Rune, which might be worth doing. Um. I'm pretty sure there's just like a Spirit Spring here though, right? Yeah, there it is. Very nice. And there's the whole secret Celia cave. But I don't think I care about that for right now. And I should stop by some churches in Liernia as well. Try to just truly get the flask good and upgraded. And then maybe we will go and, and just polish off the fire giant. Um just to, to round out the stream. And then maybe I'll take a break from Elden Ring for a little while. I don't know. Well, my flesh is a curse. If you are but as soon as I take a break from the game, the DLC will come out, so. Um this NPC has a weird quest line. I definitely did it wrong the first time I played the game as well. Yeah, I don't know if I care about going there. That definitely is a thing, though. And I feel like this tree is worth doing, too. You get a decent amount of runes and it's not too hard. So yeah, let's fight some of that stuff. I'm trying to remember if what this whole thing is, too. I think that's the Church of Dragon Communion, and this is something else. But yeah, let's go here. There's like a Tibia Mariner and like D's questline stuff in that little area too. Where Limgrave, Limgrave leads into Kaelid. Um, oh yeah, and of course we're incentivized to go and do the... Um, all the Nokron stuff now. Oh yeah, and I have the rest of Ronnie's quest line. Maybe I shouldn't do the fire giant yet. There's more, more other stuff to do first. I mean, I don't know. Fighting fire giant is fun. I uh, I remember I um, went out to a dispensary like not too long after this game came out. A couple months, right? And I was talking to the guy, I was like wearing my Bloodborne shirt, and he was like, oh, you know, I've been playing Elden Ring, I think that's made by the same guys, and I was like, yeah, it is. Um, and he was like, oh man, I, I got like stuck, and like, I've been tr trying this one boss for like ever, and I just, I can't get past it, and I, I think I'm just gonna give up, because I don't know what to do. I was like, what boss? And he was like, the Fire Giant. I was like, oh, yeah. If you get stuck on the Fire Giant, that's just, it's a bad time. I feel like I'm really overleveled for this encounter, too. Where does she spawn from? Oh. You actually knocked me out of it. You've done better than some of your colleagues. <laughs> does this one actually not have a sacred tear in it? I really thought it did. Huh. Okay. Well, I did get one more. Yeah, I knew I didn't have enough for a level up. Let's see. Yeah, let's go do that, um... Tree. Oh, that is just cliff. Got that a bit close, didn't I? Okay, no need for that. Oh, I guess I could try the pot warrior thing too. That's guaranteed to be really annoying and hard. Um, I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, hello, rot tree. How are you? Oh, 
leveled pretty well to fight you. The rot's gonna get me. Stinky rot. Oh, that wasn't close at all. This is not my favorite move. Fine, though. Just keep bonking. Can't see anything. Do that again. Oh god, I made a huge mistake. Job style. There we go. Okay, putrid avatar down. I like that I put that little marker right in that pot. I didn't even, like, pay attention to what to- oh. I was gonna say what tears it gave me. It didn't give me the tears yet, no wonder I didn't see. The stamina one and the fire of damage one, huh? Both are pretty cool. Um, have I missed any other churches here? I don't think there's any in the Dragon Barrow. There's like a... A Sorcerer's Tower or whatever. Oh yeah, and then in Limgrave, right? There's this church. And... I feel like there are more. There's this church. Is there one over here? No, but there is a tree. Okay, so, yeah, those two churches. The way that I progressed through this game made it kind of hard to get to this one. Um, the fastest way is probably from here, to be honest. So let's just do that. And then we're going to have real good flasks. Um, maybe, I, I don't think I will do Fire Giant next. I think I might just grab these flask things and then call it for today. Been going for um, about two and a half hours. Um, I might do another game later. Like, I might just come on and play Mario Kart or something stupid. Just to kind of have fun. Because I, I was playing Mario Kart and I was like, you know what? I, I just could be streaming this. Uh, last night. And instead of streaming it, I was just kind of goofing off playing it on my own. Is this the way to go? Yeah. Um. But yeah, Elden Ring is, uh, like, when it came out, I wanted to play it for hours and hours and hours on end. But now that I've played it many times, it's not really the game that I want to play for from too long per sitting, because it does become, like, I, I start to see the, the finish line, right? And I'm like, well, I could just ignore all of this and just sprint through the bosses and finish the game. Um, but that's not really the point of this game, is it? So, smaller chunks, perhaps. Um, oh yeah, I definitely did have enough for a level now. You know, I think Flame Cleanse Me is actually right around here. Wouldn't be a bad time to grab that. Let's put one more in Fate. Two. I think it's like right here. So. God, I love seeing the moon and the Erd Tree together. It's super cool. Brings me back to a time when this game hadn't come out yet and we were still just seeing imagery and stuff. And there were all kinds of videos specula spe speculating. Where? Uh, I think it's up this way. I think one of you guys has the flame thing, right? Hmm. Perhaps not. Here? Oops. I missed. Oh, 
yeah, I think it's just the next group of fire guys that has it, but... Yeah, it's this little town. I think this was the first one of those fire carts that I saw, too. Fire cart, that's not really, like, the most accurate descriptor, but... Yeah, there's Flame Cleanse Me. It's very nice. Whatever these head things are. Head car things. Flame chariots, maybe that's what they're called? That was the first one of those that I saw. Such an iconic thing from this game, too. I'm just gonna let it be, though. Mm. The Beatles style. Because uh, I, I don't feel like fighting it, to be honest. Sometimes one of these guys is carrying a little box, and if the one of them is carrying a box and you get that one and you kill him, then you get a large rune for your reward, which I, I always thought was pretty funny. Um, and a cute little addition. Honestly, I really like having the little pot guy up icon on my buff bar up there. Does this church also not have... A, um, sacred tier. Because now I'm really starting to question my perception. Right. You, yeah, sure. I, I'm not gonna bother with T Tortoise Pope, but Tortoise Pope is cool. He'll talk at you for a while if you let him. About lore and various things. We have better things to do, though. Um, so... Yeah, I think the last... Well, I came here for kind of no reason, but um, I think the last... one of these um, that I can get before mountaintops is this one, so... We'll just grab it, and that'll be that. I remember having actually like a lot of trouble with this um, frenzy tower my first time, but it's it's like not that hard to deal with. Um, uh, we'll see how I fare this time. I don't know. You can kind of just ride past it, right? And I think if you wear something that has your eyes covered, you take less frenzy build up, which I didn't know about. It's a really weird and goofy thing. Yeah, I think my frenzy is building up lower than it would have. Thank you. Go. Even if it does build up, I don't think it's going to kill me. Yeah, that's a very small chunk of damage. I'm okay with it. I want to say there's a grace, like, right over here. Before I go any further. Oh, I guess it's not right over here. There's a grace over this way. Somewhere? Um... Oh my... I ran right by it. I don't know why I'm even bothering to get it, but I may as well. They like to tuck graces away, like, behind rocks and stuff. I don't know why. But it isn't... I guess it adds to the the vibe of the game in a way. Why do I remember that this is a Shabriri's Woe? I need to like touch grass, man. And then there's this invader that gives you the spear, right? Um I think so. So I will have gotten 
Wait, am I still taking frenzy from that? Like through the... Oh my god. Yeah, I am. Why did I really not think that that was going to be the case? Hello, Vike. What? Oh, I ran out of blue juice. Oh, that's that spell, huh? Damn it. Don't drink in my face. That's rude. Vike. I remember this guy actually having, like, good AI. I think he's, like, a, an important named character, actually, Vike. Um, something about him being the... Like, he's, he's like, um, Great Iron Tarkus from Dark Souls 1, essentially, I think. Where, like, he's, um... If you weren't the Tarnished who, who did it, it would have been him. Like, he got very close and failed or something. Something like that. I don't know. I'm not a lore master. Probably never will be. But we do have plus ten flasks and ten of them. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, the next thing to do would be to go here and activate Morgoth's Great Rune and do stuff up there. Or maybe do uh, some Nokron silliness. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the progress that I made this stream. Thanks for catching the stream, if you did, uh, and I'll see you next one. Bye-bye.